Hey, in this video I will explain how my dialog system works and uh, we will go um, step by step to make sure that uh, everything is covered and um, I will publish the code for this dialog system in my GitHub repository so it will be possible to download it and use it uh, in any of your projects. Uh, so I have this uh, mine scene and uh, on the mine scene I have uh, this player character and I have this NPC character and NPC is a scene and um, here is how it looks. So I have um, NPC node which is static body 2D. I have uh, a sprite attached to the NPC. I have collision shape so uh, the player uh, can't go through the NPC. And I have this area 2D with this uh, collision shape so the player can come uh, to NPC and uh, trigger the action, like to uh, trigger dialogue. Um, so that's pretty much it for, for the NPC and uh, I have a script uh, for the NPC and so we will dive into it a bit later. So besides uh, this, uh, let's open the scripts and I quickly show well, like what kind of scripts uh, we have and uh, uh, what kind of scripts we will use to uh, to build this dialog system. Uh, we'll have the dialog manager, the dialog UI, and uh, UI is uh, located in HUD here, and as you can see I have this dialog UI, and uh, it's just node 2D, uh, which holds uh, the panel, and the panel has uh, dialog text, sprite, uh, which is uh, NPC portrait, and I will show it a bit later as well. And it has two buttons, accept and decline. Um, so um, this dialog uh, UI script is responsible for kind of showing this uh, UI interface and uh, sending the data from um, from like um, dialog uh, object that uh, that we'll have. Okay, so we have this NPC script as well, and we have this player script. I also will use uh, quest and quest manager, but uh, I uh, haven't finished um, the quest management yet entirely, so I will just show it briefly and um, I guess I will make another video to show how it works uh, exactly and um, kind of make another step-by-step -step, uh, version of it. Okay, so this is how my dialogue system works. And uh, in this video we will just go uh, step by step uh, with this process and uh, I will explain uh, what exactly happening in the code and uh, how you can set up uh, the same system as I have in place. Okay, so uh, let's begin with the uh, three first points. So NPC should detect if player is in interaction zone, when the player is in the zone NPC will listen for the uh, UI select key press and uh, when the key pressed it will send the signal with dialog ID to the dialog manager. Okay, so um, first it's important to mention that uh, I have this uh, variable like um, I don't know how it's called public variable I guess uh, which holds dialog ID and uh, if I click on the NPC, I will have this uh, dialog ID um, set here. So um, pretty much when I create the NPC, I need to assign the dialog ID and each of the NPCs will, will have its own dialog ID. And uh, based on this dialog ID, uh, we will get uh, the information about the about the quest and about the uh, dialogue itself from our JSON file, which I will uh, show a bit later. And um, here I have uh, the signal that uh, will be sent to uh, the dialogue manager. And um, the rest of the code uh, is regarding the like uh, image uh, setup. So uh, this variable with the image will be used for uh, the NPCs. And um, I guess it's important to mention this uh, variable in interaction zone 
uh, equals false, which means that by default uh, we need to set uh, that uh, our player is not in the interaction zone and uh, this variable will be set to true when the player will be in the interaction zone, which is this area 2D. So, okay, let's open the NPC again. Okay, so here we have the code uh, which is responsible for uh, sending out the signal and uh, checking uh, the key press. So we have those two uh, on area 2D body entered and uh, body exited functions and um, they are connected to the signal. The signal is uh, could be found in this uh, NPC uh, scene in area 2D. As you can see, there's indication of the signal. And if we go to the node, we see that uh, we have those, uh, those signals uh, enabled in the uh, NPC scene. So what uh, the code does? When the body is entered, we check if the body is in the group player. And uh, if I go to my scene and if I open my player and uh, check the groups in the nodes, I can find that my, my player is indeed in the group player. So I'm checking if my body that entered uh, this uh, area is in the group player. And if the body is in the group area, then I will show the interaction hint, which uh, just display uh, the label. And um, it is not that important at the moment to, to discuss it. it just you know, just a label that shows that we can interact uh, with the character. Uh, and uh, we set this variable to true, which means that uh, we are in the interaction zone, right? And uh, this pretty much similar function, uh, which also check if uh, the body is the player. And uh, when the body is exited, it will set this uh, variable to false. And so this is just print statement to, to debug, to make sure that uh, it really fires on, on the exit leg. So that's if statement really works. And uh, this one is the physics uh, process uh, function, which means that uh, it triggers uh, when there's physics process, I guess, or something like that. I'm, I'm not really sure how it works, but it's like a standard, uh, standard function, same as Freddy, for example. Uh, and uh, this uh, this function, I guess, runs every uh, every like 60 frames or something like uh, this delta is responsible for it. Uh, so um, basically what it does, it uh, checks if interaction zone is true. So uh, if uh, like body is entered, right, then it's true. And if uh, there's input with uh, UI select. In my case, if I go uh, to project settings, if I go to input map, uh, I can find UI select. So, yeah, here it's a space or X button. So if I click space or if I click X button, then this, uh, this will fire. So if I click uh, this and if I am in interaction zone, then I will emit signal with the dialog ID, uh, which could be found in the NPC, as I mentioned, uh, for example, here. Uh, this dialog ID will fire. And this is the print statement, uh, which will be used just for debug. So let's test it out, how it works. If I go to the NPC with the dialog 001 and I click X, I see in the console uh, the dialog appeared. So it works, and uh, we can move to the next step of our script.